Assalamualaikum and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Di dalam video ini, saya nak share tentang the process on how to apply for master's degree and doctoral degree di Universiti Melaya Malaysia. Okay, now ramai yang fikir sebenarnya banyak syarat-syarat yang you guys perlu uh, punyai untuk sambung belajar di Universiti Melaya. Uh, sebenarnya tidak dan hanya beberapa syarat yang you guys perlu penuhi untuk menjadi seorang postgraduate di Universiti Melaya. So, di dalam video ini, saya akan ceritakan uh, proses that you guys need to know untuk sambung pelajaran di Universiti Melaya di peringkat Master dan PhD. Uh, untuk disclaimer, untuk perkongsian pada kali ini, it will be based on my experience dan juga based on the current information yang ada di UM website uh, pada hari ini, December 2022. Okay, baik. First, you guys should know that the application must be submitted only online through UM portal. Apply.um.edu.my So, the link for this portal, saya akan put in the description box below. Kebiasaannya, the enrollment intake for postgraduate studies will typically uh, commence twice in academic year which is in uh, October and March annually so you guys will browse for the academic programs according to your study interest at study.um.edu.my you can first create an account atau before this you are UM student then you already have the account lah then fill in all the required information including personal detail academic qualification and uh, yeah for course type you guys can choose between coursework mixed mode ni this one for masters yeah for course type for master student you guys can choose between coursework mixed mode research and clinical so If ada you guys yang still confused between the type of uh, study mode for master's degree then uh, for for coursework the candidate are required to acquire specified number of coursework credits hour and certain coursework program may require the submission of research report lah and then for mixed mode candidate are required to complete a certain amount of coursework credits hour tapi pada masa yang sama, you guys kena produce a dissertation according to the topic yang uh, agreed by the supervisors and candidate. Okay, fully research, of course, uh, candidate are expected to produce a dissertation or thesis. But then masih kena attend some of the prerequisite courses as prescribed by the university and kebiasaannya hanyalah uh, satu kelas iaitu research methodology class. And there is one more clinical untuk ini candidate are required to complete uh, coursework credits hours and at the same time involved with the clinical work that will be assigned from time to time lah. Contohnya di engineering faculty UM, for research we have only masters for engineering science. Dan jika you guys nak ambil coursework mode, dia ada Masters of Mechanical Engineering, Masters of System Engineering, and Master of Safety, Health and Environment Engineering. Uh, but for Doctor of Philosophy, only research mode available lah. I rasa ini untuk untuk most of the the doctor program in University Malaya lah. And one more, the tuition fees also will be different for every program yang you take lah. So, coursework punya fees akan berbeza dengan mix mode dan juga research. And I rasa yang paling murah ialah uh, research mode lah sebab you guys tak perlu ambil kelas kan. And then after you fill up all the information required, of course you need to upload all the document they ask. Macam gambar passport, academic transcript and certificate masters atau degree you have. And then to process your application, you need to pay for the processing fees. Uh, kalau tak bayar dan you guys punya permohonan tak akan diproses oleh UM lah. So untuk local or Malaysian applicant, masa I dulu RM50. Tapi for international applicant, dia akan mahal sikit, dia akan jadi RM300. Then submit your application and then receive the acknowledgement of your application via email. Nanti you guys boleh check the status of your application from the portal itself. And then check regularly lah the application result through the same portal. And only successful applicant boleh tengok the offer letter. Okay, now speaking about entry requirement. 
the general entry requirements untuk master degree program adalah first bachelor degree in the related field with the minimum CGPA of 3.0 tapi you guys boleh juga daftar as postgraduate UM jika CGPA you guys uh, between 2.7 to 2.99 if you guys uh, adalah uh, UM graduate you has one year of working experience in that field and then you has produced publication in the related fields at the scholarship and then if you guys are the staff of the government then you guys boleh register lah sekiranya you guys punya pointer 2.70 to 2.99 and pass the interview atau special assessment by faculty uh, untuk doctoral degree program pula uh, you guys perlu ada first master's degree by research atau clinical master's degree tetapi jika master's degree by coursework atau mixed mode you guys punya CGPA mestilah tidak kurang daripada 3.7 3.70 tapi sama juga macam uh, master's tadi jika CGPA uh, you guys kurang dari itu maybe boleh diconsider juga jika you guys have the relevant work experience you guys got publication in the relevant field uh, you guys adalah penerima beasiswa Uh, UM graduate, government staff dan juga pass interview atau assessment by the faculty. Tetapi ini akan berbeza sedikit dengan Doctor of Medicine, Doctor of Public Health, Doctor of Dental Public Health and Doctor of Management. So, okay good luck for you guys yang sedang berfikir-fikir untuk apply buat postgrad di Universiti Melayu Malaysia. Selamat maju jaya dan juga semoga perkongsian ini mungkin berguna untuk anda semua. Jumpa lagi dalam video yang akan datang. Bye!